Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel Capricorn. It is always a blessing to have you back here. You know you're a diamond, shine beautiful and bright like a diamond. This is going to be your mini read for the day my darlings. Um, this is your love read. We're going to find out what's going on with yourself and your person. All right. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm going to get into a quick pray, y'all. For those of you that are new here, we do pray here on the channel. Then I'm going to tap into your energy, pull some messages through, and see what angels have for you, okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and I do give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Capricorn. This reading will not resonate to every single one of you. Take from the reading what resonates to your situation at hand and leave the rest. Okay? And just let me have four cards here for Capricorn and their person in love, please. Let me have four messages here. For Capricorn and their person in love. In love, please. Capricorn and their person in love. Capricorn and their person in love, please. Thank you. All right, angels, clarify these cards for Capricorn and their person in love, please. Capricorn and their person in love, please. Clarify these cards, please, for Capricorn and their person in love, please. Thank you, angels. All right, Capricorn. Let's talk about your messages that came through, and then we will clarify all these messages, okay? All right, so what I'm seeing coming in for you, Capricorn, is you're trying to find harmony right now with your situation, okay? You're trying to find peace to why things is just not going right with your person and yourself. You're finding yourself, you're trying to find a place, a placement to fit um, or to rectify things, but having a hard time doing so because your person is like night and day. Um, I feel like they're kind of hiding in the shadow in the mirror is what I'm feeling here. Um, I'm getting for some of you, um, your person doesn't really want you to know what's really happening with them. Okay. They're kind of hiding. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Um, I do feel as if, um, you're feeling like a lost sheep here. Um, I do feel this is where you're feeling because I'm getting calling back, okay? This calling back really have me feel like a puppet on a string, okay? A puppet on a string. I do feel as if your person may be in dealing with another third party, but just know that this third party is feeling the exact way as if what it is that you're feeling at this moment, they are doing the same thing to the other, Okay? Now, just please take this as it comes to you because it could also reverse itself, all right? Um, but someone is feeling like a puppet on a string, okay? Um, and I feel like it's, it's resonating to in a group of whoever it is coming through with this um, situationship, okay, Capricorn? Now, what I also see, because this is how I'm feeling with this calling back here, um, what I do feel also is... Your person is just not able to kind of rectify things, okay? Uh, for some of you, they're choosing not to do this. I do feel some of you even had gotten stood up because this person is juggling or uh, having people feeling like a puppet on a string. They're, trees, they're really trying to figure themselves out. I do feel someone is just dreaming to, of things to change here. But this change, I feel like it's not coming in sooner or later here. And I do feel someone of being very alone here. Um, but what I do feel, and it's, it really breaks my heart to say this, um, Capricorn, but I have to because that's what I feel and that's what I see coming through. 
I don't feel some of y'all just don't have no self-confidence, okay? Oh, I'm just going to say that. Beat me up if you want, but that's what angels are saying, okay? Self-confidence will see you through. I don't know, know who, who needs to hear this, but you are beautiful. You are beautiful no matter what they say, okay? No words cannot get you down. You are beautiful. You are beautiful not only on the inside, but you are also beautiful on the outside. Take it however you want to take it or place it. You are special, okay? Self-confidence. For some of you, this person maybe have killed your damn self-confidence. I mean, you feel like you ain't shit, all right? This is not how it is supposed to be. Uh, this is not how you are supposed to feel, all right? It is not. They're choosing to put you in this place because of their own confidence, because they want you to feel like you have no other way out. There's no better than what you are presently dealing with. Having you feeling like a puppet on a string and doing the same thing to the other person as well. Now, to clarify these um, cards, okay? The hangman is here. The hermit is here. Am I surprised the angels bought these cards through? No, I'm not. The high priestess is here. Am I surprised the high priestess is here? Hell to the no, okay? And the Erephant. Okay, now here's what's really happening and why I'm not surprised that these are the cards that came through to clarify the messages. With the hangman being here, okay, someone is choosing to either wait, watch things out, or spine, or just not able to kind of move briskly. I'm getting, you should know that you can see the situation in another way if you choose to. All right, from the way that you see things is resonating right now, from what I'm telling you, it is up to you to see the situation on another outlook, okay? Whether you, it's going to have you build confidence or lose confidence, but some of you already have that confidence issue, then it's going to be up to you to place it wherever you want to place it with this hangman being here, okay? This, er, this hermit being here, follow your own path. If you feel like this is where you need to be, then that's where you need to be. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to beat your own drum, that makes any sense? It doesn't matter um, how any what anyone says. It doesn't matter um, whatever is done. It is all up to you to make a choice, make a decision for yourself. You can only do what you need to do when your intuition tells you to do. And for some of you, our intuition already kicked in. This hermit, okay? This hangman. You already got the clarity that you needed. You already have your intuition kicking into eye care. You already know this. And the reason why I know that you already know this is because the high priestess is here. The high priestess resonates to you, Capricorn, and only you. Your intuition, like I just told you here, your intuition guides you to the damn truth. Oh, my God. Your intuition already guides you to the truth. You know that the situation doesn't feel right. Okay? You're not happy with the situation. And with the her font being here, the high priestess sitting right next to it, y'all, you're ready to love and to learn. You're ready to love who loves you, okay? And respect you is what you're ready to do. And you're ready to learn from the past so that you will never make another mistake ever in life as far as love is concerned. You learn to love yourself first before you can love anyone else, okay? Because self-confidence starts with you, yourself, and I. All right, Capricorn? That is going to be your quick read for the day. I hope it did resonate with, with you. Please do not hesitate to like, share, and subscribe on your way out. I will see you in my next one. Until then, always remember to seek first, and you will always find. Bye. Later.